Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing the weekly budget review for week two of July 2018. And as always, I've mentioned to you guys that I'm always changing up my budget and how to track things differently. And so I thought I would add this additional page to my weekly budget review. I wanted to start tracking more of an individualized purchase because it really will help me narrow where the specific problem areas are and it'll just give me a better idea to maybe budget a bit more of money in those categories or you know if it's a lot of personal spending what specifically is that personal spending that I'm spending for? You know, obviously it's unbudgeted. I don't have any personal spending at the time because I'm trying to do a no spend. But the things that I have been buying are, I've noticed for YouTube and my budget. So I'm thinking that because I'm seeing a lot of unbudgeted things related to my planning items that I get and my YouTube channel, I feel that I may need to create a separate category for that so I won't have so many unbudgeted things. So this will pretty much help me um, just see if I need to create additional categories so that I don't have so many unbudgeted expenses so that was just my idea and also you know it's going to have a breakdown I'll zoom you guys in okay so pretty much this will be an additional sheet that I'm gonna add weekly um, to my budget review and so it'll just have the date the amount which store the category that it falls under and whether that would be maybe clothing or gifts or whatever else it is um, then we have the notes section and then this will just be more of a, a notes section for mainly the unbudgeted things I would say or like the random places where, like Target, you can obtain not just grocery items, but you can get household items. So if it is a household item, what was my reason for buying? Was it just an impulse buy? Or was it in fact that I really needed that shirt? If I really needed that shirt, then that means that I'm not budgeting properly for my clothing um, expenses so maybe like I said I'll have to create something like that or just move money around in different ways um, and then whether I paid a cash or credit because of course I'm still tracking the budgeted expenses like my groceries and gas it, this is a overall for everything that I have spent for the week that I am budgeting for so this will help me because I'm not saving the receipts I am writing them down every week but then I'm you know disposing of those receipts so this will just give me a better idea I would say to that so we're gonna start off with the groceries um, and I'm still trying to figure out groceries. I believe that next month I have a different plan for my groceries and household budget, so stay tuned for that. Um, and mainly because I noticed that we are going over our budget on some weeks, other weeks not so much. And so the things that I am going over budget on for groceries are actually needed. So it's not like I'm over buying a lot of things that I don't use. At the end of the week, I do shop my pantry and my refrigerator for anything left over. But to be honest with you, we don't have very much left over. Of course, usually pantry, you have a lot of things left over there or, you know, a good amount to get some meals out of for the following week but the refrigerator we have been using everything that we purchased so it's really going to be something that I have to look into if we are going to be increasing our budget for groceries next month which I'm more on the side that we are but again 
because some weeks I'm spending more, some weeks I'm spending less, I'm trying to figure out why that is. Um, so, you know, it's just a work in progress. And that's the part about budgeting. It's a trial and error all the time. So, we'll start off with um, the first one. We'll start off with groceries and go from there. And then, so... For groceries, I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit more. Let's see. Okay, so for groceries, I can already tell you that we went over budget. And that's okay. Um, because like I said, they were things that we needed. And as long as they are being used, I don't mind purchasing the things. So... Okay, so we're just going to put the date on here that I bought it, and this was on 7-8. Let's see. Actually, we'll do these because these came in first. So on 7-7, seven, seven, I spent at Walmart $55.63. And that was a Walmart grocery pickup, which is actually pretty convenient, actually. And to be honest with you, it's really easy because as you're adding items, you're really able to stay on budget if you wanted to, because you're seeing exactly how much your amount would be. And then, you know, you can consider, do I really need this? Do I really want this? Is it necessary? Can I wait for next week? And if you do take off that item, then maybe you could stay within your budget. So it's a really good tool if you guys do have Walmart pickup in your state. I would suggest using it because you won't have so many impulse buys. You're kind of specifically going for just kind of what you need, I would say. So groceries, I don't need to put any notes. I already know that they're groceries. And with this one, I paid with my credit card now why did I use my credit card I remember last week one of my subscribers mentioned that he noticed that one of my transactions showed credit so he was a little more interested in getting some more information about how I work that so yes I do do the cash envelopes and I try to stick to that but in cases like this where I need to do something convenient and I have to use my card, um, that is what I do. Now, how do I pay this off? Now, what happens is if I went over on groceries and I didn't have enough cash left over, then I will just pay with my credit card. And then the amount of cash that I did have for the cash envelopes, I will deposit into my bank account. And then at the end of the month, whenever the credit card is due, I will pay that off with that money. Now, I'm not concerned about um, expenses being confusing because I'm spending here and I'm spending there. At the end of the day, I know that I took that money out of my groceries for that week and I didn't use it for anything else. I went to the bank and deposited that. Now, I was kind of doing that weekly where I'm depositing that amount if I use my credit card for it when I had cash um, and then going and depositing it to the bank and then I still wait till whenever the credit card is due to pay it or whenever the our month ends you know to fully pay it off because I don't like to make a payment of say $55 and then say in two weeks I use another um, I use the credit card again for another expense and then going and depositing and paying that off that's not the way I like to do it so I'm pretty much doing it whenever the credit cards do just putting all the money in and so now what I'm gonna do is since I do do a month end deposit of any extra money that was 
left over from my cash envelopes weekly you know I put that to the side for the month end as extra savings I'm going to start doing the same thing with this so any money that I did use my credit card for I'll take it out of the cash envelopes and then just put it to the side so that you know I can have that full amount and I know for a fact that I did deposit like say $500 worth of credit card transactions that were actually cash so that way I know and another thing you guys may ask why don't I use my debit card if I have money on there as well I don't budget every dollar at all for reasons like this because I feel that it's important to give every dollar a budget but when you do, you can go over in categories like I do, and then you have all sorts of issues with trying to figure out um, how you're going to pay for that when the money went over here. And then that's when you kind of start bouncing around and moving money around from envelope to envelope. And I don't like that. So I don't budget every dollar. I leave sufficient money in my bank account for issues like this because again it does you know happen and that's when you're trying to figure out how are you going to pay for that so I, that's the reason why i don't like to do that it works for some people if you're really good at budgeting and staying to your budget then it may work for you and that's the dave ramsey way but i don't find that effective for everybody so if you do do that and it works, then that's great. If you're the type of person like me who tends to go over but still want to get your budget lower and you're still budgeting in general, then I find that not budgeting every dollar is the way to go for me. So um, I kind of went around and around on all of this. So let's get back. Eventually, I'll make a video on how everything kind of works. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys a breakdown of it. And so, yeah. So Walmart was that amount, $55.63. Then, same day, I went to Aldi. And I spent a total of $52.53. So as you can tell, I am already over budget because my budget for the week is $82 I am over budget and so that was Aldi that was groceries and I paid cash with that alrighty and then one more transaction. I forgot to get ketchup at Aldi's and I needed ketchup and I ended up needing some parchment paper and randomly got some tweezers for my planning that I'm doing just to place the stickers. It's a lot easier. Um, so that was on 7-8 and I spent a total of $9.81. That was at Target. And this still falls under the groceries because, as I mentioned, I do combine the household items with my food items. So we have ketchup, we have parchment paper, and this cosmetics is obviously a household. So I'm not putting any notes in there. And then I paid with my debit card on this one, which is still considered cash. So I didn't use my credit card for that. So then next we're going to go on to our next category and that would be fun. So I like to put whichever envelopes I use the most here. It's usually obviously groceries and fun and gas. So for fun. Moving on to the fun category. Let's see. So this time, um, for fun, I ended up 
getting some takeout for myself. My husband did not have any. It was pretty much just my son and myself. I'm actually gonna change it this way and put a total here. Since I don't have this many expenses, I'm gonna just put the total here so that when I put this on my weekly budget, I don't have to calculate it again. So $55.63 plus $52.53 plus $9.81. I spent $117.97. So now moving forward, we'll move on to seven, seven, I believe I said. So seven, seven, I wanted some Yoshinoya. If you guys have never had Yoshinoya, it's so delicious. I don't know if it's only in California or not, but oh my gosh, I love, I love Yoshinoya. And actually Yoshinoya originates from Japan. They have the original beef bowl. And when I went over to Japan in December, it was delicious. They actually don't have any chicken bowls in Japan. They only have beef. And so I ate that a lot when I was in Japan because I love Yoshinoya. But anyways, I'm just excited. I've been craving it lately because I we've been more on a healthier type of diet and so I haven't gotten any takeout so I really needed some of that in my system and because we're traveling to Japan in September I feel like I'm starting to want a lot more of the Japanese type of foods <laughs> so randomly that's my story about this so anyways sorry I keep getting text messages um, Anyways, so I spent, or actually I sent my husband out. I completely forgot to give him cash. So he used our credit card. So he spent $13.34. Oops. So $13.34. And that was Yoshinoya delicious and that was the fun category and I will put credit because we used our credit so I've already taken out this amount from the cash envelopes and put it to the side to deposit at the end of the month to pay the credit card off so that was fun and then on the same day my husband felt the need to go and get himself some Perrier and my son some Mountain Dew since my husband has not had soda in the house. He doesn't drink it anymore. He likes sparkling water now. And so he decided to overspend on this because they're a lot cheaper in stores. But since he didn't get any food, he was fiending for some <laughs> sparkling water. So we spent five dollars again i didn't give him any cash he didn't even ask me i specifically sent him only for the yoshinoya so he went and purchased five dollars worth of items and this was at 7 11 that falls under the fat the fan the fun category <laughs> And that was paid with credit. Again, this amount has already been taken out and put to the side for the end of the month to pay the credit card. And then last one on Sunday, I went out with my parents. I took them out on just kind of a parent date. I, we always go out all the time. I love to take them out. Um, Nobody in my family actually really takes them out. So I'm kind of the only one that they hang out with. So I visit them on the weekends and, you know, spend time with them and just, you know, make them feel loved. So I took them out to eat. And since I'm on a more healthier type of journey, we chose to go to Flame Broiler. So this time, I have to say, I remembered to bring our own cold water bottles. I, you know, the ones that are already, 
that you buy at Costco, the 40 pack. So now anytime we are going out to eat with my parents, I bring us our water bottles so that we do not purchase any sodas. One, because I'm not drinking soda, it is so costly to purchase sodas and drinks. So I choose to not do that anymore and reduce the cost because normally this comes out to 30 something dollars. So I only paid $23.98. And that was on 7 8 or 7 9. Yes, yeah, 7 8. When did we go out? Yeah, 7 8. And that was $23.98. And that was. Oops. That was Flame Broiler fun category and I paid cash with that so I paid cash and so we'll add up our total for this and we will see how much I spent this week five dollars and then twenty three dollars and ninety eight cents comes out to forty two dollars and thirty two cents so I went over of course and then that is that we will move on to gas I did not spend any gas money my parents I just gave them their allowance and so, yeah, I haven't purchased any of the groceries. Those are the ones that I track for them. So I didn't do that. And beauty, somehow I have the money in my um, cash box because this was getting really thick, as well as my son's chore money. And I have some other expenses that are unbudgeted, of course. So Amazon. Amazon is a huge way of overspending it's so easy to hit that button they save all your random information you don't even have to hit add to cart anymore you just put buy now and it just that's it so like i said a lot of the things that i have purchased are not necessarily things that i splurged on that did that I didn't need there are things we did need so there are categories that I may have to start implementing you know starting next month that's something I have to really look into so $21.95 this expense was pretty much what I'm holding the camera with um, which is this tripod. I needed a different tripod it wasn't working the one that I last had I kind of had to put it it was on my desk and I had to put things on there to just kind of hold it so it wouldn't move. And so that really wasn't working because anytime I had to, you know, erase and stuff, I, I couldn't because the camera would move. And I didn't like that. So um, I ended up purchasing that. And then I do work from home. And so I found a better desk option for me. Um, that's kind of mobile and so I looked into it and it was really good so it ended up being $89.99 my husband convinced me that I needed this and after all I I understood why I need it so I spent $89.99 that was totally unbudgeted $19.91 I spent on some CDs for burning purposes, burning movies and stuff for my son and ourselves. We've been getting more into movies and stuff like that. So then we didn't have a DVD player. Um, we had a DVD player at some point and the DVD player just malfunctioned or we lost the control. I can't remember. We just don't have one anymore because everything is online streaming and stuff. But since we are, you know, watching things more on our television and so we need a DVD player. So that was $33, which honestly feels pricey. Who sells DVD players for this much anymore? My husband was like, are you serious? Shouldn't it be like $10? I kind of felt like $20 is reasonable, but $33, this was kind of like the cheapest one 
that would at least work for the price that I paid for. So anyways, that's Amazon. Those are my online unbudgeted purchases, which is new that I started tracking this month. So I'm not going to put a date. Um, well, you know what? I will. I'll look, I'll look at my um, Amazon account right now just to be, you know, a little more specific. I spent $21.95. And that was Amazon. And that falls under in store. Oh, wait, online. That falls under online unbudgeted. And I'm just gonna put on this one. This was a tripod for YouTube. And I paid credit, of course. Oh, and this was the 8th. So July 11th, I spent $89.99. Also Amazon online unbudgeted. And this was a work desk and I did credit so next I spent these were all the same day so July 11th I spent 1991 oops 1999 that is kind of random 1991 that was Amazon and online unbudgeted and that was DVDs and credit. And then the last one, people call me July 11th. I need to start putting my phone on vibrate. So when I'm recording these videos, you guys don't hear people calling me. It gets annoying. Um, $33, Amazon, DVD player, online, Unbudgeted DVD player and credit. So, we'll add up those expenses and it's not looking pretty. I'm not excited to add that up. And now you guys see how I mentioned to you guys in the beginning. The reason why I don't budget every dollar because there's always some sort of expense. Could some things have waited? Absolutely. But what is the purpose? Next month, if you have like a strict budget of every money, every dollar going to specific things, you don't really have so much of a budget for this. And we have one last one. So I'll take that off. Now we'll go to pink. So I went to Target over the weekend on 7-8, right there. And I bought some things and I made four separate transactions. That's crazy. So these are the in-store, unbudgeted. So July 8th, I spent $19.48 Target in store unbudgeted notes these are clothes for travel so truly this should be coming out of my sinking fund for travel, current travel, because the expenses related to that. I did buy myself, or buy my son actually, some underwear and then a t-shirt. Um, I'm kind of starting to buy all those things in advance now. And so, just to let you guys know, if you guys haven't watched any of my other videos, I don't purchase clothes except for once or twice a year. And that's usually only around the times that I travel. 
and that is because we don't use a lot of clothes that often except for those times I like to purchase clothes that are new you know to feel comfortable in when we vacation so that's kind of when we purchase clothing except for you know random times that you need it so anyways so we basically ended up spending $19.48 and I like I said I was gonna take this out of the travel sinking fund but I'm still debating on whether I am or not so for now we're just you know I spent it with my credit and that was $19.48 and then next this is also unbudgeted so I did buy DVDs from Target initially before I purchased them from Amazon um, they are a complete ripoff in store so I got 25 DVDs for $19.99 and on Amazon I got the better version of them for a hundred DVDs for $19.91 now this is one of those moments where I didn't even think about using Amazon until after the fact when I went to buy the DVD player I saw that the DVDs were on sale so I really decided okay I'm just gonna buy them and store them because they were pretty much 50% off I believe they were $40 initially they were on sale for $19.91 so I figured I'd stock up because these were not gonna last us to only 25 DVDs so anyways that's that and then to go with our movie experience that we are so in the mood of now um, these are just those pillows that you put on the back of your um, headboard um, they're just those resting pillows with the armrests. They're actually pretty tiny. I think they were meant for kids, but they do the job. I didn't really think about it until I brought them home. My husband's like, those are kind of tiny. So anyways, we bought two of those. Those were $29.98 and then just some bubbles for my son randomly, 99 cents. So I spent a total of $54.91. So $54.91. Also on July 8th, they were all separate transactions and I broke them up like that because that's kind of how I wanted to do it. So notes, just DVD, just movie stuff, I guess. Movie stuff. I did credit. And then the last one of them all Target. So my niece is having a baby and I said I wasn't going to buy her much and now I see so many cute things that I want to buy everything like it's my kid. Now Target has a lot of cute things and so since we were at Target I figured I would purchase the gift. Now I believe she will be delivering in September which is when I am gone and I think her um, baby shower is supposed to be next month I'm not sure but since I was at Target we went to the baby section just to check it out and they had the cutest clothes that honestly as always I think is never gonna be there again when I come back and she's really picky with the colors and you know patterns and stuff like that and these were black and white they're really cute looking very matchy so I decided I was gonna purchase them I was truly going to budget this for next month for gifts because I have a lot of gifts and activities next month but who cares it's still gonna come out of my money anyways regardless of what month it is now I thought I would mention about my sinking funds. So I had told you guys that I have a sinking fund for holiday special occasions. So her baby shower truly fall under a special occasion situation. I'm budgeting $20 a month. That's truly not enough considering I just started the um, sinking funds. And so I, because I just started budgeting. So. I did have 
some money from before that I needed to fund the account with to keep it open. So I only have $5 in there. So this month when I fund it, I'll have like $25. But clearly that's not enough to cover this expense or the expenses going forward. So I'm thinking this sinking fund will be mainly to be used following for 2019. By then I'll accumulate enough money and I really will start um, restricting how much I spend on people for gifts. I tend not to buy people gifts except for my immediate family, like my mom and my dad, my husband, my son, and maybe my brothers and sisters. But I don't spend money on their kids. So this is kind of strange for my niece. But she is young, has no clothes for that kid, and so I feel bad. Um, you know with that and so I decided I would buy her a baby shower gift so this was kind of one of those rare occasions so that's why I don't budget very much because we don't spend much on gifts usually we're traveling during holiday times or by the time we come back the holiday is so close to it that we just feel like it's not necessary to save money for the holidays so yeah so truly this you know, transaction should have came out of here had I had enough sinking funds. But since I just started, I don't have any. So I thought I would mention to you guys, you know, pretty much what's going on. The only ones that I had been funding before I started budgeting was like my current travel investments and my son's savings. And I had other, I had more money in here, but I had an emergency that I used the amount for. But yeah. So back to our in-store unbudgeted so the last one was $41.98 at Target and so I'll probably buy her a couple more things maybe spend 50 more dollars I'm not sure but I think that I got a pretty good amount of cute stuff for that price um Let's see, so this was niece, baby shower, baby, I'll just put baby gift, cause it's, I don't know if I'm gonna give it to her on our baby shower or when, I don't even know honestly anymore if she's having a baby shower. So, there goes my phone. Okay, so 41.98. So we'll tally that up. Sorry this video has been really long. I just really like to talk a lot and go through everything, kind of be pretty meticulous as much as possible because I could be thinking in my brain all these expenses and what they mean and how I budget them, but you guys may not necessarily understand because you guys are not inside of my brain. So that's the reason why I like to really talk through it and I think it'll just give you guys a good idea of how to start budgeting or maybe change it up a bit. It may work for you guys as well to start being pretty detailed or maybe you don't like it at all and realize thanks to me you don't want to be that detailed. So who knows? So going forward, so see now that we have this, I know now where I spent my money and I can move it over to my weekly budget review. So, weekly budget review. So for groceries, I budget $82 on a five week month, which July is, and I spent a total of $117.97. So, like I said, I already knew I was over budget. So I'm over budget by $35 and 97 cents. I said I was gonna start using a red pen, actually. I'm gonna erase this. These are erasable, which I really like. But honestly, I feel like I wanna start using a pencil because when you erase and write over it, it's almost like the ink does not come out as much. So negative 
$35.97. Big red. Moving on to the fun category. The budgeted for fun weekly on a five week month ends up being $40. I spent a total of $42.32. So this I can calculate, I am over $2.32, not too bad. Next we have gas, we have $120 a month and I didn't spend any money at all. My parents, $150 and I spent $50, I gave them their, well actually $100, sorry. I gave them their $50 for the rent increase and I also gave them each their $25 a month allowance and so that leaves me with $50 and those $50 are divided into two separate grocery shopping trips each of $25 each so I will be going this week grocery shopping to get them just fresh fruits and vegetables for beauty we budget $20 a month and I haven't spent anything now unbudgeted in store so unbudgeted in store hundred and sixteen dollars and thirty seven cents so obviously I am negative hundred and sixteen dollars and thirty seven cents and then for online I spent one sixty four eighty five one sixty four eighty five and I am negative 164.85 great 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 so as you can tell we have a lot of negatives but don't be worried next month we'll figure this stuff out so moving forward on to the positive on to a new week we get to stuff our cash envelopes for the week. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm just getting my cash box. Um, I do a monthly budget. I divide it into the amounts of week per month and I only put one week's worth of groceries and fun inside my cash envelope and the rest of it stays in my cash box. For reasons of overspending even though I do overspend I like to not have the cash because I probably would overspend even more I might even spend for like two or three weeks worth of that category so I know in the end you say I'm overspending but this is what's working for me so groceries and fun so we budget $82 and like I mentioned to you guys I have separated my denominations differently. I have week three of groceries here and week three of fun. So I've already separated the amounts and then just categorized them. And then I have four clips. So I have week two, three, four, and five because week one is initially stuffed in my cash envelopes in the beginning of the month. And then I actually have $150 for boiling crab. We budget this once a month as part of the fun category. And so I keep that in there until the day or until the week that we're deciding to go. So we're deciding to go on Saturday, which is the start of the new budget week. So I have to start putting in all of that in there. And so what I actually do with this one, I'll talk about it. So let's go to groceries. I talk too much. So $82 for groceries for week three. 20, 40, 60, 70, 81, two. And I just wanna count it because, you know, I do make mistakes, I'm human. And I could have missed money and then, yeah. So it's best to do that. So I just put that in there, zip it up, move forward with my fun. So for fun, 
$40 a week. Week three, we have 20, 30, five, 40. I'm actually thinking of saving those post-it notes to not to not waste so much paper um, because or just making little labels that might be better and more efficient for me so I can keep them in my cash box instead of just you know creating a new one every month but for now I have already ripped them so then we have Boiling Craft for $150. Like I mentioned, I am going to Boiling Craft this Saturday with my family. That is that. And then gas, we still have all of that. And then last week, I thought I was gonna go grocery shopping for their groceries. So that's why I have their first grocery shopping money here. So that's good. I already have that in there and I had already counted that. And Beauty, I don't anticipate my son going for a haircut this week, and we already talked about his chores, so no need to put money in there. And then we just clap it up, and then that's it. I hope you guys really liked the video. I'm sorry if this video got really long. Like I said, I really like to go through and talk to you guys about it. And I really would love for you guys to interact more with me. Just put comments in there. Let me know if you guys are struggling on starting a budget. I'm actually coming up on Monday with a new video category that every Monday I'm going to try to post um, a video about money or you know money related type of videos so on Monday I will be posting a video on how to start budgeting pretty much a basic way not necessarily like this this may be a little too complicated or may feel complicated for some people but don't get discouraged I watch all sorts of videos from advanced to beginning budgets and I learn so much from other people in general and I think that the important thing is to start somewhere and you're going to make mistakes but eventually you're going to fix them and you're going to know because we don't all know how to do things when we initially start so don't feel discouraged and like I said if you guys have any questions let me know down below if you did like the video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.